John, what were you looking for in the, or I guess you only had the one scrimmage, it was the one later, but what are you looking for out of the scrimmages this early in camp? I'm not looking for any one particular thing. I'm just watching and who stands out. Uh, I, I really, I just go in, like I said yesterday, I'm just trying to watch the players and see who they are. Um, you, 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 I'm not going to base decisions on inter-squad scrimmages like this, but uh, it gives them a chance to play. Um, I thought it was good pace. Uh, when you start getting into the exhibitions and stuff like that, um, it gives me a chance to see them here. And then in the game, uh, I'm more familiar. You know, that, that's my biggest battle right now is just getting familiar with the team and the personnel. Has Ali Lipsel made any kind of impression when you get the Who? left winger, Ali Lipsel? Scored a couple goals in the, in the scrimmage. And yeah. He well in the rookie team. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah you know, I'm not going to. I'm not going to start singling all players right now, which is so early. Um, uh, as I said, I'm just I'm just trying to figure out who's who, and uh, as I get more comfortable, and I am already in just a couple of days, putting faces to names and mannerisms and all that. Uh, as we get really going here into the camp, uh, it'll it'll help me, you know, as far as be for, more familiar instead of trying to look for a guy who made that play and just knowing who the guy was that made the play. You know, it, it's, it's hard, you, you know, when, you, when you're dealing with 60 plus players and you're new, it's hard. And uh, uh, that's all I'm trying to do. John, as, as the group pairs down a little bit, does it get a little easier to start implementing your systems? Yeah, we're, we're not, you know, Lappy, the American League guys are gonna coach tomorrow's game. The, the way the schedule is gonna work, cause I know you're gonna ask me that, uh, the, the American League group is uh, going to coach the first two games because I, I think it's important for Brad Shaw uh, to also look at players uh, not on the bench. You get on the bench and you, you want to win and you, you, you're not really watching. Yeah, we're certainly trying to watch what they're doing, but you get involved in the game. And I, I, think, think, I think for Shaw's and I, we need to look at the players from up top for a little bit. So the American League group, the first two games, Shazi, Willie, and uh, Rocky, the next two games, uh, and then the full NHL group coaching staff with me there, the last two games. So that gives us an opportunity, at least for me, uh, to really take a long look from upstairs. And because I like looking at intangibles, I like looking at things that go on away from the play. And that's the only way you can see that is upstairs. Like you saw any of that from watching the scrimmage, some of the intangibles and anything. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not gonna put too much stock. I, I we wanted to. They played with the puck there. Uh, you know, I know who scored, and and I know there were some good plays. I know who makes those. Uh, but I want to wait until it's against another team that they did, just didn't have breakfast with. And um, but but it, it just I get to familiarize myself with the people. You said yes. Yeah, I, th I think they've been uh, they've been really good, you know, and, and uh, I don't think today was as today comes into uh, wh wh the way the camp's designed. We have 13 to 14 players on each team, you know, so they just went through three hours of of a lot of touches within the scrimmage, uh, a lot of skating in the scrimmage, a lot of skating in the practice, plus a pretty good conditioning skate. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy. I, I think our camp looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, when you start getting to the, uh, the probably day four in that area, I think that's when you, you see, see where guys really are conditioning wise, how they recover. Um, but I'm, I'm very happy as far as how the guys have presented themselves so far in camp. The line of, uh, Anisimov centering Van Riemsdyk and connect me today got a decent amount of, of reps. Should we read into to that? No, nope. no. Nope. That was, I threw it against the wall and I, I, I'm going to make some trades in our next scrimmage day because I, th I think I kind of short circuited the, the one team today. Um, that was already brought to my attention. And uh, uh, so there'll be some trades made. There, there's no, well, I shouldn't say that. There, you see some lines that, that, that you're going to look at, but 
you know, we, we got to make, you know, Artie's a PTO, you know, and we got to make a, sooner than make a decision on where he sits. I know him really well from back in New York. Uh, give him something to play with. Uh, he can play up and down the lineup. You may see him on wing in one of these games. So, uh, but I, I just don't want you to get locked into this is what he's looking at because I really don't know what I am looking at. Can we play the minimum amount of veterans in tomorrow's? Uh, you have to. Right. Well, you can play I mean, more though than that. Nah, no. Yeah, we'll just play minimum. Yeah. Who will be the starting goalie or will Carter Par see any time tomorrow? I don't know. who. I don't even have the lineup in front of me. I, I, what I've done with and what I've always done in my camps is I always let Chuck, the scouts, and, and uh, I give them the first three games because I think it's important for them to uh, – to see some of the kids that, I mean, Chuck's in charge of the whole organization. He needs to kind of put pieces together as far as where they sit and give people opportunities. And uh, so Chuck is, uh, uh, has, has done that. We, we've got kind of a, uh, we've got three games. And there may be some changes, but I'd like, I'd like the management group to put those together. I'm not even sure who's starting tomorrow. John, when we chatted with you, you talked about you're big on family and guys going out and, and bonding together. Victor Laurier said he's a big family guy. He has four mm. kids. And yeah. They had a team get together a little while ago at yeah. his house. I heard about it. Yeah. How, how important is that in your mind? That, that, that's why I'm so happy they came in early um, because you have time to do that. You, you start getting into the season. I mean, it's uh, uh, it, 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 the schedule, the travel and all that. It's so tough for, to get the group as a team. Um, we're we're going to try to, uh, within – uh, I think we have a, a night planned where uh, we all get together, staff, players, all of us get together, go out to dinner. And uh, I think it's really important. I, I you know, the, I was thrilled that they organized. Uh, it wasn't the whole team, but I think eight to 10 guys went on a golfing trip to Boston. Um, I don't know what's more important sometimes at this time of year, especially prior to camp skating or doing something like that. And I told them that, you know, I, I was, Hazy, I think Hazy organized it. They all jumped on a plane, and uh, it, that's good. That, that, that is really good stuff, and uh, uh, we don't put enough importance onto that. No, I don't. I have, I have not uh, – uh, I haven't talked to Tommy. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't. Okay, thanks, guys. Appreciate it.